name is Ronald, I'm 24 years old and I have had a slightly different life than the most of the people I know. I spent seven years of my childhood in several foster homes from my 7 till 14 age where I had little or no contact with my parents in the first years. And that may sound crazy or impossible for you, but for me it was a big part of my life. In this video I will take you into my life as a foster child. I am going to talk about what I experienced in this period, what negative sides this had for my life and what I learned from this emotional roller coaster. Let's go to the intro. And before I start this video, I'm not going to talk about the problems and mistakes my parents may made in this period. This video is about me and how I experienced it during this period. Some people may think, what is a foster home? Picture this, you are a 7 year old child and your mother has just taken you to school that day. You are playing with your friends until the teacher takes you out of class because you have a visitor. And the visitor was not my own mother. It was an unknown man I had never seen. That man said that my parents were not doing so well in taking care of me as a child. And I had to go with the man and I was suddenly placed in another family from the town I was from. I will go into this situation in more detail later on. And this fostering is a form of help whereby a child temporarily lives at another family. This child is not cared for and educated by its own parents, but by foster parents. And this is not the same as adopting a child. Foster children keep their own surname. So my father's surname is Fox and that is my surname too. Pretty catchy, right? In addition, foster children are often taken in temporarily which is not the case with adoption. My foster life experience. In total, in those seven years, I have lived in three different foster homes. With a friend from the village, a foster family far away from home, and my aunt and cousins. My foster experience one, living with a friend from the village. I must say that I don't know that much about my first foster family because it was 17 years ago. Because I was picked up by the man at school, I was told that I could temporarily live with a friend because things were not going well between my parents and taking care of me, my brother and my sister. I was suddenly being raised by my best friend's mother and father and my best friend was suddenly like my little brother to me. However, after a time, things were not so doing well between that little brother and me. I had to move to a different foster home. Foster experience 2. A family far away from my hometown. Just like the first time an unknown person from social services came to me and we had a little chat that it didn't went well between me and that little brother. For that reason I've been placed to another foster family far away from my friends, my family and my town. I had to let go all my friendship and I went to a place where I didn't know anyone. I remember the first time when I went there really well. When I arrived by a car, I was welcomed by a very strict Christian family from somewhere in the middle of the Netherlands. And I sat down in front of the TV and it was so weird because there were other uh, foster uh, brothers and sisters around me in that room. So I wasn't the only one and I had to pray the first time ever into my life. And for a little boy who never raised in religion, that's pretty weird. And I also still remember that I had a really tough time to make new friends in a place where I didn't know anyone on school. And also living and following the rules of your parents who are not even your own biological parents. At that age I was also weak, malnourished and I was a very insecure boy. It also took a while before I dared myself to open myself up more to make new friends. 
after spending three years there at that religious family, the news came that I had to pack up my things and that I could live closer to my parents. My foster family experienced three living close to my parents. And this last foster family I have lived in, I've been the most thankful for in my life. I think if I would live in another unknown foster family, my life would not look so bright. I learned so much at my aunt's house that it really helps me to grow personally and to get the right upbringing that it gave me the most structure I ever experienced in my life. And I could even make a documentary or even a book to talk about my experience in those several foster homes. But that is not for this video. So I hope I can elaborate this more into the future. But for now I will talk about the negative effects that my life had when I was living in several foster homes. Finally, seven years after I lived in several foster homes, I could live back at my parents' place again. But for the negative things in my life, that wasn't the best decision at all. And again, I don't blame my parents from this whole situation where I lived in several foster homes. It's more about how I've been handling it myself. And it was not always positive. So finally, when I lived back at my parents again, I was also in my last year of my study that time. So it was a quite busy and stressful period. And for me, the reason why it didn't went well was that I didn't really process all the emotions I've been through into my whole life. You know, if you look at me right now, I'm really talkative about my emotions and stuff. But when I was first around 14, 15 years old, when I first was living at my parents, I couldn't even talk barely about what I was feeling. Like that stressful period was the first time I got the depression. And all those weird situations when you were a little child, you couldn't even like process all the things and the emotions you've been through that time. So for me that came out later on when I was like more developed uh, into my emotional state. And that was around my teenager years. And in that period I felt that my parents act like there was nothing bad happening into my life. Even when I had like lived seven years in several foster homes and I knew that was not the normal thing for my life. So one of the negative sides in living in several foster homes was that I have been building separation anxiety. Maybe you already have experienced it in the timeline I've been talking to you about the several foster homes. Think about it. you're like living at your parents place where everything is safe, where you have all your friends and finally that safe place falls apart. For me an example I had to move out to my safe zone and I had to move out to a different foster family. So for me it was really hard and I went quite anxious about the fact that I had to leave my friends and that I had made new friends again. And that was not even one time. When I was like moving back to my aunt's place, it was like a benefit situation for me. But mentally it wasn't really that easy to process because in that period I finally opened myself up to building new relationships. But finally when I made those friends I had to stop the relationship because I had to move to another place again. So that was one of the things what really built for me separation anxiety. And about this separation anxiety I also had into my relationships. But for that you can watch this video right now where I talk more about that subject. And the other negative side of living in those several foster homes was that I already had on a young age a traumatic experience into my life. The traumatic experience was more because I didn't really talk about the feelings I've been experienced in all those years which I was living in those several foster homes and all the negative thoughts but also the emotions I had. So when you don't really talk about all those emotions it has to come out in some certain way. Especially for me when I had my tough teenage years it came out like anger attacks. I was angry on everything what was around me. So one of the examples was that I was really jealous about my friends who had like normal parents and had like a normal life and my life was completely the opposite. So these were things where I was like 
blaming my parents about everything what I've been through into my life and that went out into anger and blaming them from everything. I don't blame them everything anymore but on that moment I was so angry about the world and about everything where I couldn't even think about a different approach to regulate my emotions more. Okay Ronald, now it's enough with the negative things. Shall we talk about the positive things what I've experienced in this time? Because I've fallen on my beautiful face many times into my life, you learn automatically to grow quickly. And because of this, I had the urge to make something out of my life. And the other positive side of lived in those several foster homes and the past I had is that I had the ability to turn my insecurity into security. That was because I really had a high drive to score for any achievement I had in my life. The other benefit I had out of this experience in living in several foster homes is that it really helps me to build a very strong mental health. And because I didn't really process all the emotions I had into my life, I had to learn to understand myself better and better. But one of the other things what really helped me was self-help books, meditation and also uh, podcasts. So this was the video of this week. So now you know what I've been through in my life. And the last thing I want to say is that everyone has like difficult and hard times into their lives. But I really believe that everything starts with you. Like I've lived seven years of my life in several foster homes. These were external factors why I couldn't even do anything about. The only thing I could do is make my own life better and understand myself better to become a better person. So hopefully I could inspire and maybe help you with telling my story and my life. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.